your bottom hand at your belly button. Okay. And then you're going to do uh, left row with your left hand and bring this down to your belly button. Then up. Thumbs are up. Thumbs up. Make sure you let go with your left hand when you go down and your right hand when you go up. Thumbs are up. Always. Thumbs are up. Okay. And then when you go down, your thumbs are down. And do I hold this high, low? This is going to be at your belly button. Okay. And... And then is it always one fluid motion? Or yeah. You're down on your odd counts. Down, down on, on one. Up one, two. Down on three. Let's try that again. Up one, four, seven. And then on eight, we're going to flip our hand like you're asking for money. It's called money. Okay, so let's start with the money. Start, start with the money. With the money. So you're going to bring it down and up. Do that again. So we're at the money hand. Mm -hmm. Your flag goes down. Down. And then up. And then pop my hands backwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does feel weird. So this next part, you go down, up, down to the side of you, up. And then make sure this is as horizontal as possible because you're going to do a toss. And if it's not horizontal, yeah. then you're going to hit yourself. Aww. And you just whip it out like that. Do it again. It goes down, out. Right, okay, so I start. So we're going to start up here. We go down, up, down, up. Let 
go on your right, let go on your left, let go on your right. This is where we grab them. So that's eight, nine our flag is down, ten our flag is up, then we're going to do the reverse thing, left up, right on your left hand, go down, up to pencil, down, up and in front of you for your toss. So your toss up, and spread your hands on the edge. Then we flick up here. And then we go into our eggs. So make sure you tuck, drop on that, back present, slam, cover. So if you look in front of you. You're going to go straight down, right? What? You're going to go straight down. Yep, you're going to go in front of you. So if you look in front of you, look at where your pole is. You don't want to be over here, or over here. Straight down. Yep. And then you go um, over your toes. And then slam down. So the motor skill I learned was how to be a silk. The girls who twirl the flags <clears throat> for the blue band for the blue band during the games. And the first routine I did it was uh, it was pretty bad. Um, so when I first when I first watched Katie um, do the routine, <clears throat> and I tried to memorize what she did, and then I did it right away, and it was very embarrassing. Um, I didn't know the routine at all. I didn't know where to stand. Didn't know how to hold the flag, which is a really important part. Uh, Katie Dimbowski, uh, she was the girl who taught me how to do my motor skill. She was very good, and very sweet, and very nice. <clears throat> so, the, arg the augmented feedback she gave me on the routine, um, it started by going step by step through each part of the routine. We did it, we broke it off into four parts, I believe. Uh, so, we just focused on first part and second part, third and fourth, and then threw it all in together which uh, was very helpful. Um, she taught me exactly how to hold the flag, which helped the routine look really nice and smooth because in the beginning I wasn't holding it properly and it looked really choppy. Um, and it's similar to holding a golf club. You know, if you're holding it incorrectly, you're going to see the negative feedbacks. <clears throat> and for one of the parts of the routine, uh, you had to throw the flag up in the air and then catch it. And she taught me how to throw it up higher so I'd have more time to adjust my hands to catch it properly. <clears throat> and Katie, she had a vast knowledge of uh, being a silk. She's been doing it for seven years. And she's been on the Blue Band silk team for three years. And she's going to be doing it next year, too. So she's going to be doing it her entire collegiate career, which is very impressive. <coughs> um, at one point, um, 
I was holding the flag wrong and I was really struggling with this part because I couldn't uh, move it from one side of my body to the other <clears throat> and she described it as holding a pencil which everyone knows how to hold a pencil and so that helped me get to one part to the other and um, she, that's, she just did a great job describing things in terms that I could understand because the Blue Band um, Silk team when they have their actual practice, you know, they're using terminology that I don't know. I was actually there for a little bit of one of their practices. And she did a great job transitioning from what she knows to my knowledge level. <clears throat> um, and I used visual examples a lot. I would ask her a lot of questions. Um, like I would ask her to do it over again so I could see exactly what she was doing and how she was doing it and the timing. And that really helped me a lot. <clears throat> And that's probably what I learned most about how I learn, um, by ob observing examples. And I also asked a lot of questions. Uh, all in all, it was a lot of fun. It was a great new motor skill to learn. It's another skill I can add to my checklist. And Katie, she was a great teacher. And you know what? I might even try to learn a new routine. I had a lot of fun doing it. So thanks, Brian and Eric, for having us do this project. It was a lot of fun.